in this video we will do some four questions which is based on either curved surface area or total surface area of a cone so we need to remember these formulas that is curved surface area is pi r l and total surface area is pi r bracket r plus l so let's begin with the first question so in the first question it says find the curved surface area of a right circular cone whose slant height is 10 centimeter and the radius of base is 7 so let's say for example if i make a cone here this is the base of the cone and uh, well diagram is not necessary i'll just draw it and this is yeah so this is the cone here and what we have to find out it's curved surface area right the curved surface area is only this part right excluding this base one so in order to find the curved surface area, as you can see, I've already written the formula. The curved surface area ka formula hai pi r l, right? So if I apply this formula, that is curved surface. First of all, let's write down the information. When you read this question, what do you see? Here the height, that is the slant height. It's important to remember slant height is denoted by L. So L is 10 centimeter here. On, and the radius is how much? Radius is 7 centimeter. So it's very simple. We just have to find the curved surface area and the formula is pi r l. S just need to plug in these values. Any pi ke jaga 22 upon 7 at it, as it is not mentioned. Radius joke is 7. The hour. This is 7 centimeter and the slant height is 10. So this 7 and 7 get cancelled. 22 into 10 is how much? 220. The unit must be written or ye, this is an area. That's why we should write centimeter square. Now we'll do next question. In the second question, it says the height of the cone, height of a cone is 16 centimeter and with the base radius is 12 centimeter. So height by height, only height, right? Means vertical height. As you know, this is called height which is vertical and then this is the radius well there is another height that is the slant height right so it is important to remember that we are given the value of this height right that is a b well say a o and not a b a b is l right and it is slant height so what we know here that the height is given here that is the height of the Silic, uh, cone is given as 16 centimeter and the radius if you see the radius is given r is equal to 12 centimeter what we have to find out in two parts in the first part we have to find the curved surface area so curved surface area is what pi r l so from curved surface area formula csa you can figure out that it is pi r l so for that you need to get the value of l and there is a relation between these three that is this angle is 90 degree and that is why we say l square is equal to r square plus h square l square will be r which is 12 so it is 12 square plus h which is 16 so 16 square so now l square 12 square is 144 and 16 square is 256 so L square is how much? Their sum is 400. So I can say L square is equal to 20 square or you may say L is equal to 20 centimeter. Now, next, we have values. So this is CSA of the cone is going to be pi. Now, remember the value of pi is given as 3.14. So we'll replace pi with 3.14 pi into R r from here is how much 12 into l and l is 20 now this is 3.14 multiplied first time multiplying this with this so it will become first time multiplying these two so what i'll do 3.14 into 20 so it will be 628 and the decimal place will become one because there is one zero that multiplied by 12. Now this calculation we have to do. That is 6 point, no, not 6 point, 62.8. That multiplied by 12. So this will give you 7575. 
थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर नाउ वंस वी हैव ऑप्टेन द कर्व सरफेस एरिया वी आल्सो हैव टू फाइंड टोटल सरफेस एरिया नाउ देयर इज टू वेज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट वी हैव डन इज वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड दिस कर्व सरफेस एरिया एरिया ऑफ दिस पोर्शन राइट दिस इज द कर्व सरफेस एरिया एंड व्हेन वी इंक्लूड द एरिया ऑफ बेस अगर हम बेस एरिया इसमें ऐड कर देंगे तो इट बिकम्स द टोटल सरफेस एरिया तो या फिर हम वी कैन कैलकुलेट द बेस एरिया फर्स्ट बेस एरिया निकाल के ऐड कर सकते हैं एंड द अदर ऑल्टरनेटिव इज दैट वी कैन स्ट्रेट अवे अप्लाई दिस फॉर्मूला फॉर फाइंडिंग द टोटल सरफेस एरिया आई गो फॉर द सेकेंड वे ऑफ अप्लाइंग द फॉर्मूला डायरेक्टली सो ना एम गोइंग टू गेट द टोटल सरफेस एरिया नाउ टोटल सरफेस एरिया फॉर्मूला इज पाई आर ब्रैकेट आर प्लस एल सो पाई विच इज थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर और रेडियस ट्वेल्व है यहाँ पे दैट मल्टीप्लाइड बाई आर वंस अगेन आर सो दैट इज ट्वेल्व एंड एल बी कैलकुलेटेड एज ट्वेंटी सो दिस इज ट्वेंटी सो नाउ विल कैलकुलेट विद दीज वैल्यूज थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई ट्वेल्व विल गिव यू थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स एट and this is how much 32 is it yes 32 so final answer will be multiplying this will give 1205.76 cm square ye hamara total surface area aa gaya so we'll declare this to be the answer for the second part In the next question, it says find the total surface area of a cone. That means we have to find total surface area of a cone, which is this pi r bracket r plus n. If the slant height is twenty one, so slant height is what l, and l is given as twenty one meter, and the diameter of the base is twenty four. So diameter of the base, that is, yeah, diameter is this right? This is the diameter. So diameter of the base is given. I should uh, write down diameter as twenty-four meter. Then you know radius is half the diameter. So half of twenty-four is how much? Twelve meter. Now see, you know the radius, and now you 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 also know the slant height. So what we have to find out is the total surface area. So we'll apply the formula for the total surface area. T S A B is the symbol used, which is pi r bracket r plus l. Now check value of pi not given, so I'll take twenty two upon seven. Radius from here, right? It is twelve into r plus l. So r is how much? Twelve plus l is twenty one. Now next, if I multiply this, this is twenty four. So this is four two yeah two sixty four divided by seven. So what I did, I multiplied twelve with twenty two. So we got two sixty four, and then the sum of these two is thirty three. Now for further calculation, we'll multiply by thirty three. So it is eight seven one two by over seven meter square, or we may convert them. In decimal by dividing by seven, in that case you will get as one two four four point five seven centimeter square. But it's not centimeter; it's meter. Meter square. So we can say this is the final answer. In the last question, it says a co conical tent is ten meter height, ten meter high, and the radius of the base is. Twenty-four centimeter. So the height of this tent, as you can see, this is the height of the tent. That is the vertical height, right? So there are two heights. So one is vertical, another is slant height. So if it is not mentioned, then by default it is the vertical height only, right? So we will not take slant height. So what you can see that the height that is h here, this is h. The value of h is given as ten meter. and the radius of its base 
This is the radius here. So the radius of its base is given as 24 meter. We have to find the slant height. So by slant height, they mean to say this height is called slant height. As you know that this angle is 90 degree here. So we are going to use this relation that is L square is equal to R square plus H square, right? Pythagoras theorem. So L is what we have to get. Radius is 24, so 24 square. Height is 10, so 10 square. This is L square. 24 square is 256. And 10 square, 576, sorry. It is 576. And 10 square is 100. So now L square is how much? 676. So L will be how much? Under root of this. Or you may write like this. This is 26 square. So we got L as 26. A 26 square. This much meter. Now, why did we find L? Because this was a part of the question, right? Then look into the remaining part of the question. It says, find the cost of the canvas required to make the tent if the cost of one meter square, right? Is go this is meter square. Huh? This is one meter square. Then the eight meter square ka cost hai 70 rupees. The cost of one meter square is 70 rupees. Then what will be the total cost? Uh, one important thing, first of all, you should know, note that the canvas is applied only on the curved surface area, right? Only the curved surface area of the cone has to be made with canvas. So, first of all, you know how much canvas ka area is used, how material is used. So, that should be equal to its curved surface area. This is important. No? That only curved surface area we will find, not the total surface area. As we don't place, as we don't place the material on the floor, right? The, the canvas which is used. Canvas is the name of the material. All right, so curved surface area is what? It is pi R L. So pi R L. Check here, we know the value of pi is not given. So we'll take 22 upon 7. Radius is how much? 24. So I'll write 24 here. And the slant height L we calculated as 26. Okay. Now, we will not reduce it. Right. This much centimeter square or meter square. Now, you may be wondering why we are not get reducing it to the final answer, even if it gets reduced. This is because we can see when we take cost, we will be multiplying with 70. Then it will reduce. So now we can straight away say the total cost, total cost is equal to rate. Because 1 meter square ka cost is 70 rupees. So this much meter square ka cost kya hoga. So we'll multiply 70 with this value. So this is 70 multiplied by 22 over 7 into 24 into 26. Now I can reduce this 7 1 times and 7 10 times. So finally 10 into this is 2 to 0. And then we will multiply 24 with 26. So this is 6 to 4. Now final answer, if I have to get, what you will do, you will multiply this with 2 to 0. So it will come as 1, 3, 7, 2, 8, 0 in rupees. So this is a big value here. 7 into 10. Yes. So 70 rupees per meter square was the rate. So we'll say that this is our final answer for this question.